Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Hello, Carrie. It's good to talk to you again. Nice to see you. You're looking very festive and yellow. Thank you. Thank you. That's how I felt about this series. It made me feel happy. So I had to wear some yellow for nice. us today to talk to you. How does it feel now to be on the other side? It's all said and done. How do you feel? Incredibly satisfied. It was a, a very, very um, not only enjoyable ride, but uh, life changing, obviously, for me and my career, and hopefully uh, we embraced all the topics and themes that need to be talked about and on an ongoing basis. And uh, that feels very satisfying that it's been embraced so, you know, so it's, it's I think, I hope, I, what, from what I see, has um, opened doors to conversations that we need to be having on an ongoing basis. And to see Anthony Mackie uh, wearing, you know, the, the suit, and carrying the shield um, has been thrilling. It has, I mean, it was incredible. I mean, we discussed in our original interview at the very beginning of the series of some possible avenues that we could go down and now in the aftermath, the nuances of their relationships and Sam's nuanced relationship with the flag and what it represents was outstanding to me. When we, when we first spoke, you mentioned that it was a journey about two men finding friendship on their journey and their friendship. And that friendship meant very different things for them. For Bucky, it was being free to let his past go and being able to sleep and be comforted. For Sam, that friendship made him feel empowered to enter into servitude and leadership and, and being one for the people. What were those pivotal things that they did for each other? Two people who didn't start off as friends, just kind of coworkers that equally empowered them to, to get to that, that point that they reached at the end? Well, I think they had a kind of a compass. You know, uh, I think Steve was their compass. He was their, their bond, but um, obviously not there. So they're both kind of grieving over the fact that they've lost a friend whom they loved. Um, so that was kind of what the, the, the strings that, that bound them enough to keep them kind of going. Uh, I think when in, in the um, interview with the uh, psychiatrist, um, the, the two of them, and he says, um, what if he was wrong about me? Mm. And it, we see a vulnerability in him. And then Sam says, and by the way, you don't know what you're talking about basically, right? What is it to you? It was my shield to give up. I gave it up. You don't know what you're talking about. So the two of them came from very polar opposite moments. Um, and yet both vulnerability, both had a vulnerability of it because the way Sam says it and the way he's talking about it is, at, which comes around in episode five where, uh, you know, Bucky apologizes and said, I says, I, I couldn't know what it meant to you as a black man. How could I? Uh, I'm white, I have the white experience. So we're, they went from being fractured in that moment to coming together in episode five through the events that happened, but they had to go on a, each on a journey with their, their uh, viewpoints of the shield. Bucky's being a, a connector to the past and wanting kind of to, to re, re, uh, re, you know, revisit that and keep that. And Sam saying, it has no relevance to now. That, that history is not the future. Uh, we need new, you know, what she says in his opening speech, that we need new heroes, we need new, you know, we, this, this belongs to, to that guy because right. that guy is of a different era and has different. So they came from very different ideas, which then as they're sort of throwing it around like a football, uh, you know, Bucky apologizes and Sam, and which get, means a lot to Sam because he realizes that Bucky truly does finally understand what, how big a deal this is for him to pick up the shield and what it means as a black man. Because mm -hmm. his own community is not necessarily behind him picking it up. Isaiah Bradley says, no, no self-respecting black man will pick up this, this symbol. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he's, he's, Sam is about to take it on from all sides. And there's Bucky sort of saying, I've got your back. 
for whatever I can do. That's a really important moment. And then Sam saying to Bucky, oh, by the way, you got it wrong. You, you're, if you want to heal, don't make it about you, make it about them. Mm, mm -hmm. And that is a, a pivotal moment for Bucky because he realizes, oh, you're right. I, I've been making, I've been trying to make me feel good about everything I've done when actually I have to turn it around and go, I, I will never feel good about what, I will have to accept the guilt of what I was, was doing or has to have done, but I actually am never, ever going to, you know, absolve myself of it. So I can only make it better if I, if I help the people that I've hurt in some way, close the door on, on their experience, you know? So um, for Yori, he at least gives him the truth. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It doesn't necessarily make Yori feel better, but it certainly gives him closure. And that's the important part of that, that, you know, he can move on now. Mm -hmm. With, uh, with throughout the season, uh, there's some, just some really kind of iconic scenes in there. Of course, the one with, um, with John standing or with the bloody shield, of course, every, that really rocked people, myself included. But there was a scene in episode two, the opening of episode two, where it's a jazzy opening and that's cool, you know, but it was more of the image of seeing the black drill team dancing on the field on top of the of the, the captain symbol. And it's just really struck me for a variety of ways for how, you know, black bodies are used for entertainment while they're ushering. And it just was a very moving scene to me to see how it focused and how it shaped out. What is, was the anatomy of that, that scene for you? And why did that particular, why did you, what do you remember about shooting that scene that day? Cause it well, was, you know, the, the, the idea um, came from, I saw that true uh, play uh, at the Hollywood bowl. Uh, they were opening for, a, they were part of a, a, um, a big show. Uh, I can't remember, but I did some research and they had opened for Beyonce and they, they'd done a lot of work. In, and I loved that they were taking sort of a traditional marching band uh, idea, which is sort of born of an old, I don't know, white paradigm, you know, which uh, police and, and, um, uh, where the marching band comes from is a very strict background and they were just turning it on their heat on its heel and I thought when we talked about introducing um, John Walker it wanted to be festive it wanted to be modern it wanted it to um, uh, be joyful um, it was important to me I guess also that it, it embraced the black community, but not necessarily, and, and truthfully, um, I didn't want it to represent what you have just said necessarily. I, I mean, but yet by definition, that was going to be part of it, so, right? Sort of an appropriation, mm -hmm. an appropriation of, um, of what that is, what, what that represents in order to, to this and uh, I think it, it, it came across but it it was also damn fine music and they recorded it for us and so we took the the um, Captain America theme and uh, they recorded it and the, that band recorded it and so it really is a representation of, of their work which I think was also really important to see That's so cool. you know it, it sort of embodied and you, you've nailed it with it it embodied many different emotions and was another way to put in a point of reference to discuss. So all of these things are meant for discussion, not conclusions. Absolutely. Well, I thank you so much, Carrie. Uh, I appreciate it. The series was um, incredible. Anthony was fantastic. And yeah. I love seeing him in the suit. He was phenomenal. Thank you again for your work on this series. Thank you. I hope our paths cross again. Thank you. Me too. Take care. Bye-bye. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.